Hey everybody, welcome back to another quick guide. Today we are doing Thin Lip Mullet and we're just gonna dive right in here and get you this information as fast as possible. Alright, so my diamond was 5.97 pounds, so you want to have some kind of gear that's about 6 pounds. Again, the Thin Lip Mullet, you know, on the smaller side for fish, so... If you're going for golds and diamonds, uh, and you have just, you know, some of the beginner rods and reels, this is a great species to go for, for sure. They enjoy lakeshore, shallow lakes, and deep lake. Um, their bait and lure preferences are doe, red worm, minnow. And this is one of the few species on Spain that you actually can use, like, a bait casting reel and successfully, you know, catch fish with. Um, because they do like the tubes, the spoons, and the grubs, and the spinner baits. Um, so you can use those lures. Um, I find the tube of this of the, all the um, lures that actually work, I find the tube works best. Um, I like to um, jig with the tube, and that tends to work the best for getting the thin lips to bite. Um, other than that, for some reason, I find the minnow just in my experience the minnow has worked best as far as bait goes for these guys um hook size um a size six should get you pretty much just golds and a size five should get you pretty much just diamonds there may be some variation there like a really big gold might bite on a size five um i haven't seen that confirmed but every time I post one of these, somebody tells me, well, I caught this on this hook. And I'm like, okay, well, remember, these are quick guides. We don't know this down to a science yet. Nobody in the community has this down to a science. But we don't know if it's based off of metals or if it's based off of weight. So if there's just like a really big gold, they might be able to bite on a hook size that really only diamonds make. We're not sure how exactly that works. So... Keep that in mind. I use the metal system because it's kind of the easiest to remember. A lot easier than remembering random weights. Like a six pound mullet will bite on a, a size five hook. It's easier to say diamonds. That's why we do it that way. So that's pretty much what you're going to want to use. I would probably say try the minnow first. Then you can go to the red worm dough without biting on minnow. And then you can try your tubes. Uh, but I usually have, honestly, I try it the most. I have the most success on minnows and tubes, but doe and red worm will work as well. Obviously, these will all work. It's just in my experience, minnow and tube work the best. Um, and let's go to our hot spots here. Bum, bum, bum. This spot's where I caught my diamond, right here. Um, this is where I see most thin lip diamonds caught from. And then um, I've seen them caught here on stream. Um, and then seen them caught here. And I, there's another spot somebody told me about down here. And um, I believe it is also marked on the Angler official Discord's community help sheet. Uh, there's a spot down here. I've never seen one pulled out of here, but I, you know, obviously trust that help sheet and and the folks that told me about it. But I haven't uh, tested this one or or seen anybody pull one from here. So I left that off here. But this is somewhere you can try down on this side here. But definitely up here and down here, great spots for big thin lip mullet. Those are the only spots that I've seen consistently produce big thin lips, golds, diamonds, that sort of thing. So uh, there's some other spots that are kind of spotty around here the um, that you can get thin lips. But definitely these spots I have found some of the best. So that's just enough information to get you started, you know, fishing for thin lips. If you're new, if you're experienced, you know, you might have some more spots that you found that are really good. You know, let us know in the comments, you know, if you want to share your spot, if you don't want to share your spot, that's okay too. That's okay too. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If that was helpful, leave a like. And if you want to see more guides like this, go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.